Hi everyone, welcome to day six of our seven days of chakras as we're journeying through these seven main energy centers in the body. And I think it's really important to say as well that as per Vedic philosophy, so all those ancient texts, there are actually lots of different chakra systems within us and they're varying in numbers and they're varying in position in the body. And we're focusing on the seven that run through the center line of the body. That's our focus for these classes. Now, with these classes, it's gonna be a mixture of meditation, breathing, visualization, bit of philosophy. I like giving you a bit more of flavor so that you can learn more and you can do the introspective work afterwards. Now, this chakra is all about our intuition. It's a really, really good one to hold on to in your everyday life. So I'm gonna guide you through how can you tune into your intuition? How can you trust your gut, trust that inner instinct that we all have and I like to call it our magic power because it is within all of us. There's always times where we have that feeling where we look back at a certain occasion and we're like, oh, I just knew, like I just had that gut feeling, but I didn't know why, why. I couldn't put my finger on it. And so we kind of live in this world where we want to be able to explain it and back it up with science or back it up with a reasoning. But our intuition doesn't give us that. Our intuition just pops up saying, don't do that, that's a bad idea. And because we don't really know why it's saying that, we tend to disagree with it and overrule it. And so in this practice, I really invite you to not do that and to tune into it. Um, and we're gonna look back into our past as to how many times we have ignored it or how many times we have noticed it, but we haven't actually tuned into it. Uh, now that's okay, there's no point looking back and, and regretting, but it does show the power of this little magic power I like to call our third eye energy center in between the two eyebrows. So let's come into this practice, seated upright position eyes closed, hands on your thighs, palms facing up, deeply breathing in. Exhale through your mouth. In. Out like you're blowing a candle. In. Soft, gentle out. Good, come back to breathing in and out through your nose. Swallowing saliva a few times if you need to. Releasing any tension you've got in your forehead. So bringing all your awareness to this part of the body, up top, above the eyebrows. And just see if there's any tension that you're holding, not only here in your, in your forehead, but also in the sides of the temples, and also in that middle point, Ajna Chakra, the third eye energy center. And just see, not necessarily by making any movement with your hands or, or massaging, but if you can just visualize that part of the body softening, loosening and relaxing. Feeling the corners of the eyes melting away out to the sides. And we start to visualize this bright white light coming slowly towards us. It's a safe light. It's a welcoming light. And just feel that shining on. And as you feel that white light shining onto that space, you can feel the white light from yourself shining out as well, beaming out of your forehead. With your eyes closed, try to bring your eyes to focus on that middle point. So it's almost like your eyes are going cross, but try to make sure that you're not causing any pain there. So it can be a subtle turning inwards of the eyes. So it's on that central space, that bright white light, penetrating its happy, healing, intuitive energy into you. Good, stay with it, stay there, keep breathing. Trust it, trusting the process of it. Trusting all that it's bringing you. And then letting it go, letting that light go, releasing the gaze, softening everywhere. 
watching and noticing how that was for you, what happened, what was the experience like? And then starting to think into our past experiences with our gut, with our instinct, with our intuition. Thinking back, if there are certain moments where you did have that gut feeling, you couldn't quite place your fingers on why it was that you were feeling the way that you were, that you did feel it, a strong yes or a strong no. It doesn't matter if you listened to it or if you didn't listen to it, it's really more about acknowledging that that internal wisdom showed up for you. And this aligns really nicely with one of the three parts of yog, jnana yog, which is the yoga of wisdom, of internal knowledge, of spiritual knowledge. And into one of the yamas and niyamas, swadhyaya. Swadhyaya means self-study, self-introspection. So many words in yoga philosophy talking about how do we understand ourselves? How do we tune into ourselves a little bit more? Linking in really nicely with this energy center. How can you listen more to that inner instinct? Do you feel like it's really quiet for you or do you feel like it's quite a loud voice that you choose to override or is it a voice that you choose to listen to every single time? Just having a little think about that. And in situations in the future, how can you make sure that you listen to it? How will you do that? What kind of things will you implement? For me, I find it useful just to ask myself, okay, what's my gut saying? What do I feel I should do here? Just staying where you are, I'm just gonna do a little reading of philosophy from Swami Rama's Living with the Himalayan Masters, it says, closing the eyes unconsciously without having any content in the mind is sleep. Closing the eyes consciously is a part of meditation. A yogi closes their eyes and withdraws their senses from the sense perceptions. They remain free from the power of opposites, of pain and pleasure. Closing the eyes is for them the opening of the inner eye. Ordinary people see the objects of the world with the help of two small eyes. But do you know that my whole being has become an eye? And slowly bring your eyes when you're ready to open, take a moment to reflect, see how that was for you. Connect in with your inner eye more. Leave a comment with your experiences. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you in our next class.